Welcome to Salon Scheduler, step three. We're gonna set up your employees on the scheduler. Now, if you haven't done so, make sure you've added all your employees to the Clover Employees app. You can also use your Clover web dashboard to add all your employees, but make sure you do that before you, you uh, start step three of setting up your scheduler, okay? Again, so start up the Salon Scheduler. It's a, it's a scissor icon on your Clover device. You wanna do this on your Clover device. We're gonna show you how to set up so that you can work off of your iPad or your iPhone or your Windows laptop here in just a minute uh, in, in one of the f uh, future steps here. But right now, go ahead and just tap on the icon on your Clover device, okay? What you wanna do is tap on the three-line menu, tap on settings. The app's gonna do a little quick audit. That's to pick up any changes you've made to your Clover system. Okay, what you wanna do is tap on employee settings. You're gonna see a card for each employee that you created in your Clover device, okay? When you see each of these cards, if you have an employee that performs services, just turn on the perform services. If they're bookable online, turn on the bookable online also, okay? Do that for each employee that you have that you're gonna make um, that perform services in your salon, okay? When you turn on the perform services, you notice that there's a button that says settings on it for each card, and this is the settings for each individual employee, okay? So like for Whitney Houston here, tap on the settings button. What you're gonna see is uh, you can tap on weekly schedule. This allows you to set up Whitney Houston's schedule, for example, for Monday through uh, Saturday. And you can go through, I'm sorry, Monday through Sunday, and you can go through and um, basically set up their work schedule as well as their breaks if they have any. Okay, and then you're gonna tap done when you're done. After that, you're gonna tap on settings, tap on alternate weekly schedule, okay? An alternate weekly schedule is the exact same as a weekly schedule. The only difference is there's a start date and an end date. This is useful, for example, if you have holidays and the employee works different, say from December 15th to January 15th, then you can say December 15th and January 15th for the end, and the alternate schedule will apply to that employee just for that time. You can also tap here and you can change it to an alternating schedule in case you have an every other week schedule. Okay? You can text us if you need details about that. The other thing is later on, I'm gonna show you how to force the employee to use the alternate schedule. And that's a, that's a nifty little feature in case you wanna use the alternate schedule and you don't wanna, you, you wanna use it and it's not between the start date and end date. You can still use the alternate schedule whenever you want, okay? So then after you're done with that, um, let me go ahead and show you the next thing you're gonna do. You're gonna tap on settings and uh, you can actually right here, tap on phone access. And see what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up when an employee logs into their phone app. First, you're gonna decide if remote employees can view no appointments, only their own appointments, or all employees' appointments, okay? You'd set it to no appointments, for example, if you're letting an employee go, okay? Um, second thing, you can decide if a remote employee can edit only appointments, appointments and schedules, which includes time off, um, they can't edit anything or they can uh, they can edit their appointments and their time off, but not their weekly schedule, okay? Last thing is you can decide if remote employees can see customer names and phone numbers or just their phone, just their names. Uh, we like to give you the ability to protect your data and that's a good way to be able to protect your data, okay? So once you're done, um, you, you, that's how you're gonna set up each individual employee, okay? Now I'm gonna assume you can do this as soon as we're done with this video, but let me show you a few more things about employees, okay, is that you can do. Once you've done that setup, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see each employee listed at the top, and you can tap on an employee's name, and you can tap on add, edit, view time on off, okay? This is the quick, easy way to add, for example, they have a dentist visit, you can just tap this little plus right here and add a time off, okay? Or you might have a time on, like they have a special ability to work sometimes that they're not necessarily working in their weekly schedule, and you can add a time on, okay? So that's really important. You can add time on and time off as you wish uh, to the employee's weekly schedule, okay? Also, you can tap on the employee's name, and uh, you, can, um, you can tap on forced alternate schedule. That's an example there where you can use the alternate schedule outside of the start date and end date, okay? Another thing you can do is you can favor that employee more online. And what we do there is you can give, for example, 10, it means that everyone's equal, okay? But if you set the favoritism to 11, then for online scheduling purposes, 
we have an algorithm that finds the least busy employee. And this employee is going to give, if you give it an 11, for example, this employee would get 10% more favor because 11 is 10% more than 10. So it would, and you can make it 20 and they'd get double the favor. In other words, it'll, this is a way to increase the favoritism of which employee gets more appointments scheduled online. Okay. So you can always text us at help at appheaven.us if you need more help with this feature. But so those are some of the features you have. You also have the ability to change the employee view, to see a week view, a month view. You can change the column order and you can change the employee color. Okay, one last thing about the employee setup is we'd, we'd mentioned in uh, how you can, you might have like Mary has a haircut that she charges $10 for, but Sue charges $15 for the same haircut. And in step one, we'd uh, mentioned how you make sure you're your in in your inventory in clover that the items that have a, a different price for each employee should be called uh, should be set up as a variable priced item well let me show you how to set the price for each employee okay you tap on the three line menu you tap on settings and you tap on employee settings and you tap on the settings button of the employee that you want to change the price of the item for and service times commissions details okay what you're going to do is you're going to find the item that has a variable price. Okay. And um, when you find the item that is a variable price, see right here, number eight service price, you'll be able to change that price. See, this is a fixed price item, so it won't let you change the price. But if here's a variable priced item, you could give the price of the item for each employee right there and you tap save. Okay. Now, the other thing you can do is if you have, um, I wanted to go and show you is if you have, if you're paying each employee a different commission, for example, then you can pick any uh, service that the employee offers. Like, let's say I pick men's haircut. You can change the commission on that uh, particular item. And when you tap done, you can save that commission only to one service, to all employees, or to, to all services with that employee. Okay. So that's how you would uh, provide a different commission for each employee, for all of their services or just for one service. Okay, so I did want to make sure you, sh you saw that. That was a little omission here, but so you basically, this is all under the uh, the settings button of each employee under the service times, commissions, and details. This is where you can make changes. You can also decide like in a particular service, you can decide that that employee doesn't offer that service online. Okay, or that that particular employee doesn't offer that service. We'll still show it in the list of services, but when you pick it, we'll, we'll pop up a box alerting you to the fact that this employee doesn't offer this service. Okay, so, um, so that's how, what I want you to do next is go ahead and set up all your employees. Uh, again, if you, haven't done, if you haven't added them to the Clover inventory, make sure you do. Then come over to the scheduler, tap the three line menu, tap the settings button, and you're gonna tap on the employee settings. You're going to turn on each of your employees, perform services bookable online, use the settings button to set their weekly schedule, their alternate weekly schedule if they have one, their phone access. If you have any like variable priced items where one employee charges more than another, then make sure under service times, commissions, and details that you set up those variable priced items. And you're going to save those settings. And then next, what we want you to do is text us at 469-269-2053 and say you've completed step three. And then we'll give you the next step to do, which will be step four. And if you have any questions, you can just go ahead and text us your questions relating to step three also to the 469-269-2053. Thanks.